Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Next Gen, SpaceX Starship 9 undertakes test flight with mixed success. Electra blown wing generates seven times greater lift coefficient. And Electra Solar Trainer flies 900 miles across Europe. And I'm your host, Talon Lee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Next Gen program, a weekly news program covering the next generation of flight, from electric power to vertical lift, uncrewed vehicles, and everything in between. Let's get into today's stories. SpaceX Starship 9 undertakes test flight with mixed success. SpaceX launched its ninth flight test of a complete Starship vehicle nearly on time after a few minutes of holds before getting a move on. This was a far tougher flight test than previous missions, especially for the booster, which was subjected to some aggressive and adverse test conditions, which it did not survive before its scheduled landing in the Gulf. This was the second flight of the booster, it having been caught by the chopsticks mechanism back at the seventh launch, and its sacrifice this time around was intentional. An attempt to deploy Starlink satellite simulators went awry when the deployment mechanism failed as well. The upper stage fared considerably better than it has the last two launch tests, until its attitude control failed as a result of fuel venting, resulting in something of a zero-g spin. This condition canceled a number of other tests, including a Raptor engine relight in vacuum. The flight test included several experiments focused on enabling Starship's upper stage to return to the launch site. A significant number of tiles had been removed from Starship to stress test vulnerable areas across the vehicle during re-entry. Multiple metallic tile options, including one with active cooling, were to be tested. The venting ultimately resulted in full loss of attitude control and the inability to control the re-entry of the vehicle to its planned splashdown in the Indian Ocean. After the break, Horizon X7 eVTOL achieves transition flight milestone. Over 30 years, the Massive Sport Plane Resource Guide has provided expert, credible information, evaluations, and critical analysis of all that the sport aviation world has to offer. The all-new Digital Sport Plane Resource Guide is coming with extensive multimedia features that are constantly updated, an even more comprehensive online guide to all things sport aviation. Available soon. www.sportplane.com Welcome back. Now for some shorter stories in our Next Gen Minute. Horizon X7 eVTOL achieves transition flight milestone. Horizon Aircraft's Cabaret X7 large-scale prototype successfully completed a flight during which it transitioned from vertical takeoff to full-wing horizontal forward flight, a major step in the development of the aircraft. The Cabaret X7 is a hybrid eVTOL aircraft that blends a conventional aircraft engine with battery-powered fans embedded in the wings. The main wing is swept forward, and there's a smaller set of horizontal canard-like stabilizers on the forward fuselage. There are twin boom stabilizers in the rear, and a monocoque cabin with room for six plus the pilot. President and Secretary of Defense announce Golden Dome Missile Defense Plan. President Donald Trump and Secretary of Defense Pete Hegseth announced the selection of an architecture and the initiation of planning to build a state-of-the-art missile defense shield called Project Golden Dome to intercept threats from space, such as missiles, drones, and hypersonic weapons. The system will involve deployment of advanced technologies across land, sea, and space to include space-based sensors and interceptors that will fully integrate into existing defense systems. The president says he expects it to be fully operational by the end of his term in January 2029. Merlin receives New Zealand Experimental Airworthiness Cert. Merlin has received an Experimental Certificate of Airworthiness from the Civil Aviation Authority of New Zealand. Merlin's certification plans were initially approved by CAANZ and FAA in 2021 to establish the first certification basis in the world for an autonomous flight system. With this certificate, Merlin now advances to the final phase of experimental flight testing. Power Company sends SAW-equipped chopper to trim trees. 
Electric utility company Mon Power is deploying a helicopter equipped with a saw to keep overgrown trees away from more than 230 miles of power lines in West Virginia. The aerial saw configuration can be used in areas that are typically inaccessible to ground crews. Mon Power completes more than 4,000 miles of tree trimming operations per year. While tedious, keeping overgrowth away from power lines helps to minimize tree-related power outages during storm seasons and gives personnel easier access for routine inspections, maintenance, and repairs. That was our Next Gen Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. Electra blown wing generates seven times greater lift coefficient. Electra has conducted wind tunnel testing at the MIT Wright Brothers Wind Tunnel that confirmed its blown wing design delivers the high lift for takeoff and landing within just 150 feet, or about 10 percent of the distance required by conventional aircraft of similar size. Using a 20 percent scale model of its EL-9 Ultra Short aircraft, the wind tunnel results show lift coefficients greater than 20. This is about seven times the typical range of 2.5 to 3 seen with unblown wings. The results validate the capability of electric blown lift to generate higher lift at low speeds and enabling safe takeoff and landing in small spaces like soccer field size. Electra said the test confirmed the EL-9's approach and landing profile meets all FAA Part 23 requirements for safety and stall margin and ensures safe and predictable handling at slow speeds. Electra was supported by collaborative funding by the U.S. Army's Small Business Innovation Research Contract to explore the potential of blown wing technology. The company is refining the EL-9 production aircraft design based on the results of the wind tunnel testing, as well as the flight testing of its EL-2 demo aircraft. Electra says it has more than 2,200 pre-orders for the EL-9 from over 50 operators globally. After these messages, Electra Solar Trainer flies 900 miles across Europe. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Welcome back. Electra Solar Trainer flies 900 miles across Europe. Electra Solar announced that its Electra Solar Trainer aircraft successfully completed a 900 mile trip from southwestern Germany through Austria and Hungary, terminating in Romania. The trip was flown in seven legs, the longest of which was a little over 185 miles. The purpose was to demonstrate the reliability of existing integrated solar rechargeable battery powered aircraft and showcase its utility as a practical solution for cross country travel. The trip was flown by Electra's test pilot, Uwe Nortmann, and the legs consisted of Germany to Austria to Hungary and terminating in Brasov, Romania. The demonstration flight was an initiative supporting the fifth edition of the Smart Airport Cities Conference held in Brasov on May 15th. The Electra 2 model is larger than the Electra 1, and in 2019, the Electra 2 solar variant flew completely autonomously from start to landing and achieved an altitude of nearly 33,000 feet. The Electra 1 trainer is a modified Electra 1 solar with an incorporated charging system as well as a dual redundant propulsion system consisting of two motors, motor controllers, and batteries. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.